Hey, what is up, players? It's Warboss Tapped in this mug. Welcome to my uh, rundown of what I did. This is not going to be a part three tutorial like I planned. Um, the reason being, while I was painting and filming, uh, I, I kept dozing off and the model kept falling off of, <laughs> out of my hand and it, um, I was splotching paint everywhere. I didn't get much sleep last night, so um, the model. It kind of, or the, the the painting in the actual video kind of reflected that and I didn't want to do uh, put that up and and do work that isn't like my <laughs> my my best I guess so I'm just gonna tell you what I did very simple for final highlights um, we're just basically bringing up the um, all of the, the the paints that we've used before so Zandri dust I, I repainted all of the little wires and strings and cords and stuff. I added Drukai Violet onto some areas of the Flayed Man here into the deeper uh, recesses to show a little bit of, of bruising, post-mortem bruising and well I guess you wouldn't bruise after you're dead but um, just like splotches and, and grossness. Also a little bit of purple onto the hands there. For the Sea Dragon Cloak I repainted some Dark Reaper and then I added in a little bit of Sotek Green and that creates a very cool looking uh, uh, oceanic kind of kind of look and I, I think it looks really nice transitioning from that kind of aquatic green into a deep blue and purple okay for the leopard now I would suggest using XV88 unfortunately mine dried up in the pot because Games Workshop's pot designs are pretty terrible so uh, I actually had to mix my own XV88 using a, a mixture of Mornfang Brown and Averlin Sunset. And it's about 75% Mornfang Brown, 25% Averlin Sunset, and then you get a, a nice base to work off of. So I just repainted everything in that color, that mixture, and then I steadily added a little bit more Averlin Sunset. And then I started, for the highlights, adding a little bit of Rackarth Flesh, which is our favorite um, highlight color. Now that that's dried, I'm gonna take some Seraphim Zabiol, and I'm going to shade our leopard le leopard hide. Um, for, for the spots, I started with Abaddon Black, and then I um, made these like circles. I just made circles of Abaddon Black. And this is where I was really falling asleep, so I was getting paint everywhere, it's terrible. Then I highlighted those circles with uh, Mechanicum Standard Gray. And then in the top of those circles, so that I'm making an upside down crescent shape, I dabbed in some uh, Mornfang Brown. And it created like a little, a little a center spot that was a little bit darker brown than the than the yellow surrounding it and uh, that was it so that's how I did, did my leopard spots y'all um what else I think that's it I added a little bit of purple to Wolfric's face uh, I think I'm gonna take some Raiklin flesh shade though and tie down those bright colors I also highlighted up his beard again with Mornfang brown Yeah, it's just a little bit too Rackarth fleshy, so you don't want to tone down the skin too much because then it's just going to look really muddy, but um, a little bit of redness, I think, will will do it. And there you have it. That's That was pretty much it. I didn't really touch anything else. Um, I added a little bit of Drukai Violet to the, the scroll case to, to darken it down a little bit further. And that is it. So there is your Wolfric the Wanderer. Thanks for watching, you guys. Four minutes of me talking about what I did I think is a lot better than me kind of sleepwalking through it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave me some comments and likes and uh, feedback on what you think of my Wolfric the Wanderer. And uh, let me show you my commission base for it. It is a resin base from Micro Art Studio. Thank you Doc Eon for figuring it out and getting back to me. It's a force base 40 millimeter uh, square. I'm gonna, I, you can see I drilled holes here and here. I already put the pin in over there and I'm going to be sticking him over there so right over this little beaver. I think it's a beaver because it's got a beaver tail. Uh, I thought it was a squirrel at first when I was painting him up but isn't that cool? That's such a cool little extra design. So I'm gonna paint that up and then I'll or glue them on, paint it up, paint it up, do the final touches, and then show you what that looks like. But thanks for 
sticking around with me for the journey of this. Uh, this wraps up this commission project for me, and then it's on to the next one. Protectorate of Munoth, Tatorios, more uh, orcs. I'm slogging my way through those bad moons. Uh, Dark Eldar flames with the airbrush I'm working on as well. And I have a special surprise. Uh, new Iron Hands project that came in. So a lot of work at the studio. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. See you in the next one.